Pamela has made it very clear that she has no plan for black people specifically, right? And at the same time saying that she has no plan for black people, they do have a plan specifically for Jewish people. They do have a plan specifically for the LGBTQ community. They do have a plan specifically for immigrants. They do have a plan specifically for the Chinese. But for black people, I don't have anything specific for you. She said that out her own mouth. Right. Listen, th the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No, because whatever benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole and the country. Right? And I think what really also grinds my gears is the fact that as a black community, we feel as if we don't have any options. I see a lot of the conversation being, well, who else can we vote for? Or, you know, what are our options? You have a lot of options. I just I want to issue this warning. You do not want it to be black women versus Democrats. Black women are fighters. We are the base. Because they deserve a DA that won't have sex with his employees. It would be highly disrespectful and out of pocket for someone to try to leapfrog over Vice President Kamala Harris right now. And I have to say, most of the black women, I've talked about myself, I have to say most of the black women I know, we are mother exhausted. What? What are you talking about? Listen, the, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No, because whatever benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole and the country. Why does the black community feel like they don't have any options? You don't have to vote. As a united people, you don't have to vote until these people start showing us what their plans are for us. You also don't have to vote Democrat or Republican. You have options. You do have options. Another thing that really irritates me is the fact that black people are so, they want Kamala to be black so bad. Yeah, well, the, the Democratic Party for, for a very long time, not just this election cycle, has been doing a lot of active outreach around um, the South Asians, around the API in general, and, and will continue to do it. I mean, we, what we know in particular when you're talking about the South Asian community, we're talking about the Indian community more specifically, um, it is a growing community in the United States um, in terms of its voting block, in terms of its participation. And, um, and I think the party knows that and, and knows that this is part of a, a, our collective community and, and there needs to be outreach and inclusion. And certainly you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> You could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> Even though she's made it clear what she is, we have seen this woman's identity change depending on the group of people that they're pandering to. One minute she's Chinese, one minute she's Indian, now she's black. And that's all it took for y'all is for it to be identified as she's a black woman. Now y'all talking about, oh, she's finna go do something with Beyonce and hopefully she gets a sacred deal and, you know, she got her hair like this and the flat iron and it's like all this superficial shit that doesn't mean anything. You guys continuously say that you see yourself in Kamala when she's made it extremely clear that she does not see herself in you. I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash bail system in place.
that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris. I want to bring and this is not even about Trump. Like, let's be real. It's the fact that all it takes for black people to get together and vote is to see a black face. You guys did it with Obama and then said, all we require for Obama is to be black. You didn't require anything else from him. That's why every other group benefited off your black vote, but not you. Now I see Plies posting up talking about all she has to do is pick a dope VP and Kamala got it good. It's all about just being dope and being down. And what about our communities? What about our kids? What about these systems that are in place that keep black people oppressed? Why do we keep getting ignored? And black people are so excited. And, and the Democratic Party knows that. They know it don't take much for you motherfuckers. And, and that's what's just so hurtful to me. Because it's like, as a black person in America, it is so sad to see the things that we rally around. The things that we can come together around. The power in numbers. We are a trillion, trillion dollar people. We truly, truly are. And we sit and act as if we are not. Is that how you speak when you're in a debate? Is that how you speak when you're in front of a convention? Good morning, APAC. Good morning. What an honor. No, we must stand with Israel. Do you support reparations for black people? So I'm not gonna sit here and say, I'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people. No. Which is why I support the United States commitment to provide Israel with $38 billion in military assistance over the next decade. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. I support full funding for Israel, including for the Arrow, David Sling, and the Iron Dome missile defense systems, which save lives. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. And that's why I am fully committing to maintaining Israel's qualitative military edge. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. I stand here clear eyed about the dangers of division in our country and in our world. Understanding why a state for the Jewish people is so essential. Do you support? Is there anything else that needs to be said? I just want to understand how it is that black women in particular, it's enough for you males, but I'm talking about black women because they out here in droves trying to blame shame and give other people who ain't on this caboose of the Kamala train a hard time. These are her words. These are her words. This is what she said. Now, mind you, I don't expect Kamala to do a GD thing for me, but what you're not going to do is think that you're going to shame me or bully me into doing something that I don't want to do. And y'all acting this way is why you don't get what it is that you need. And then you'll be crying in your soup. I promise you, not because I want it to happen, but because y'all refuse to ever listen. You think you know everything? This is classic. You not going to tell me, but I'm going to tell you is what's going on right now. And you don't have a hold over all black people, a majority of the black people or the damn black community. Y'all don't even care about the black community. I'm going to remind everybody that all these people running off at the mouth are all people who are Democrats, who are somehow affiliated with them, meaning money monetarily, they getting paid. They supposed to talk about them in a, on a positive way or get you colors to go ahead and go along with the get along. And they will not listen to anyone else. It's just supposed to be this foregone conclusion because she allegedly black that you're supposed to vote for her because she's black. That's the main reason why you shouldn't. Her being black, and let's just go along with it for right now, y'all. Her being black is the main reason why we wouldn't and shouldn't go along with it because how the hell does that help us out with the rest of our damn lives? I'm telling you, the only thing that I've ever heard this person talk about is AB's Roe v. Wade's, for those that don't know, and making sure that women can get the right to do whatever they want and act how they want. No wonder all these women are going crazy, black ones. No wonder they all in. Now they want to try it out. I'm an American child. Please shut the F up because that's not going to work. 
I'm black, you black. And guess what? I don't need to use that downtrodden BS. What I want to know is what her plan is. Y'all ain't heard of plan one. Just because Biden said it, don't mean that's what she's for. She over here at a daggone meeting for uh, the, the AKAs or the Zeta Phi Betas or whatever. When some dignitary is here in town, I guess you don't want to be dealing with that, right? If you're supposed to be the president, you're supposed to be able to talk and speak to any and everybody, regardless of whether or not you like them. How the hell is anything ever going to get resolved if people don't talk to people on the other damn side to have an opposing view? It's very easy to do your job when everyone agrees with you. The real job and the real leadership comes in when you have someone who is not necessarily on the same side as you. Now, I'm not talking about you trolls that all you want to do is throw insults. This video is a video of responding to this lady with Kamala's own mouth. These are the words that she said. But y'all want to go ahead and try to act like it's everybody else that's a coon and everything else. And you want to just go along with this. She black. This is all symbolic. Y'all so worried about symbolic symbolism. That's why you ain't got crap from 2020. Because as long as they was pulling down alleged racist, racist statues, y'all was happy as pigs and you know what? We not falling for that. I'm not anyway. I'm only going to speak for me. But y'all let me know what you think. You know what to do. I see you all in the next one. We do not care.